Howdy, folks. I'm Lively Lepus, lackadaisically leaping over lazy llamas. I'm Amber. And here are more lazy llamas for us to lackadaisically leap over because we're hares, I guess, and that's what hares do. But if I was so lazy, Amber, laid back even, why would I jump over a llama instead of walking around it? <laughs> I don't know. I forgot what lackadaisical meant, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was like silly and carefree. All right, folks, and our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for yelling at my son for not trusting us? I am a 44-year-old female and my son is a 16-year-old male, and he recently got a job after searching for a while. He recently got his first paycheck and talked about buying a car. I was supportive and I asked him what sort of car he intended to buy. He said that he was going to find the cheapest squawk box that he could find. I asked him why he would buy a cheaper car when I or his dad or a bank could loan him the money. He said that I don't trust nobody. I want the car to be completely my own. No banks, no loans, nothing. I asked why. He said because if I forget the loan or something, then the bank could take it away. And there's interest and leases and it's too complicated. He just wants to buy and be done. I said, well, what about us? We won't charge you interest on a loan. And he said, yeah, but if you get mad at me or something, you can just take it away. I said, why would we do that? He said that he doesn't know, but he doesn't want to risk it. I just want it to be my car completely. I said, if you're paying for it, why would we take it away? Also, what if your bad car breaks down? Then what? He said, oh, I have a friend whose dad owns a auto shop. He'll put in a new motor for me, since I'm the only reason that he's passed math for like the last two years, and physics. I was mad at this point since he had planned it so well to avoid me and his dad. And I said, do you trust us that little? He said, yeah, well, I don't trust anybody. I just want to be it to be my car, no one else involved, no risks involved. I said, I can't believe you would think that of us. Go to your room. He went up extremely annoyed and hasn't spoken to us since. Now, I think I over-exaggerated. All right, folks, what do you think? Yeah, I think Opie's being the jerk here. I wonder why he has trust issues. Arbitrarily punishing him for not trusting her. Like, this is just the next level of, like, bad parenting. Like, your kids need to be able to have their own feelings and their ability to express those feelings. You can't force someone to trust you. Yeah. You have to give them reason to trust you. So punishing him until he trusts you is not the way to go. It sounds like OP is manipulative, like this is a manipulative thing, and he has reason not to trust her. Yeah, I mean, I think that's really what this boils down to. It seems like he's doing this because he has an overall lack of trust in his parents, and if OP and their husband does stuff like this, then it's no wonder that he just doesn't trust them, right? I mean, I think that they kind of highlighted the reason that he doesn't trust them like, oh, oh sorry i was gonna say trust is earned and if you have lost your son's trust the only way to do to regain it is by proving that you are worthy of that trust mm -hmm. not doing things like punishing him arbitrarily because he didn't do what you wanted yeah but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck and theory 240 says you're the jerk and when you sent him to his room for truthfully answering your questions, you proved all of his fears right. I, 45 years ago, did the same thing because my mother had displayed exactly the same type of behavior to try and control me by taking things away that she had given me. So I never allowed myself to be dependent on them for anything that she gave me again. And Crocodile Zebra Milk says, Oh, OP proved her son right when she punished him for not trusting them. That's not a good reason for punishing someone, especially when they have some valid reasons for not trusting you. He's sure not going to trust her even more after that power trip that she went on. All right, folks, and our next letter is titled, I'm a 23-year-old female and my boyfriend, a 27-year-old male, doesn't care that men try to break into my house. Well, two days ago, I left my new home. I moved in one week ago to find three large men had pulled up a bin directly underneath my ground floor bathroom window, presumably to climb in, and were staring directly into my bathroom. I inspected the window and it was loosened on one side as they had tried to pry it open. After telling my boyfriend, he insisted that I was overreacting and kept repeating that they were probably just minding their own business or that they were just doing a deal in the alleyway. My mom came the day after and drilled the window shut, 
Later, I found that someone had daubed so what under my window. I called my mom in tears, and both my parents confirmed that it was not previously there. Police and home repair both confirmed later that the graffiti was never there before, and that it was done likely after my mom had left. My boyfriend spent an hour insisting that the men were probably just minding their own business, and that the graffiti was always there and claiming that everyone is probably just misremembering things. He then said that it was just his opinion. I replied saying that at a time like this, his opinion isn't wanted or necessary, and that my life could be in danger, and all he cares about is being right. He refused to apologize and admit that he was wrong, despite everyone else saying that it's odd that he's fixating on having the last word rather than the possible danger. After our lengthy argument, he insisted that he did nothing wrong after I explained in detail multiple times, prompting me to block him and pretty much the end of our relationship. Does anybody know why he acted like this and how to go and where to go from here? All right, folks, what do you think? Yeah, um, probably best not to be with him anymore. Like, best case scenario is that he is really indifferent to OP's safety and just really has to be right all the time. Worst case scenario, he either is actively involved with those people or is friends with them or something along those lines. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I was like, why is he defending these individuals? And it makes it seem like he is in part with them. Mm -hmm. And maybe he isn't. Maybe he just wants to be right. And he's just this kind of individual who, in spite of the facts, will reject everything, right? And reject all the other premises. I think that... Either way, it's not a very good sign of the relationship to come. Yeah, I mean, do you really want to be with someone who you can show them all the evidence in the world and they just gaslight you? Like, you have your parents' confirmation, you have the police confirmation, everyone has told you, yes, this is what happened, yes, this is concerning, and he's just trying to gaslight you like, no, no, there's nothing to be worried about. Those men were just minding their own business. Yeah. But let me know what you folks think. So anyhow, take care and good luck. All right, folks, and our last letter is an update. Update, am I the jerk for breaking up with my boyfriend because he ripped my jeans in public? And we covered this one the other day. Basically, boyfriend likes to prank people and thought it would be a funny ha-ha prank to rip her jeans. My boyfriend came to talk to me today afternoon after getting off of work. I didn't want to talk to him, but he insisted, so I let him. He apologized to me and said that he didn't want to throw away a relationship of five years for something really stupid and not worth it. He meant making the prank and posting them on TikTok. That he knows that his behavior has changed too much in the last year and a half and that he really regrets it. He said that he wanted to be with me and that he was even going to ask me to marry him for our anniversary, which is in June, and that he already had a ring since December. He said that he grabbed my panties and hid them for himself. He would make fun of me, saying something like, look what I just found, and then he would use them to do indecent things. The prank was not planned. My boyfriend's friends convinced him about five minutes before. He forgot that he had hidden my panties, and that's why he reacted by yelling at me. When he came to my house yesterday blaming me, he said it was because he was embarrassed and desperate about how I would react. He asked me for another chance. He also said that he would stop joking completely. Furthermore, he said that if necessary, he would distance himself from his friends completely. But I really don't know what to do. I asked him for some time to think about it, but I really don't know. I really love him, but he exceeded the limits that I set for him regarding pranks, and he let himself be convinced by his friends. All right, folks, what do you think? I think that you did the right thing by breaking up with him. I do not think that going back to this man is a good idea. He violated a very clear boundary, and then he blamed you repeatedly because your butt was exposed. He's the entire reason that happened. Mm -hmm. And instead of being like apologetic, like, oh my goodness, OP, I'm so sorry, he doubled down and told you you were in the wrong. Yeah, I think this is difficult. I understand why OP wants to salvage this relationship, and I think that's really in OP's hands at this point in time. But OP does have to realize that this person has done well gaslight them and essentially uh darvoed them they were you know denied that they did anything wrong blamed everything on op shamed her shamed her and then what's that like in the future what is that how does that extend into the future is he going to is this the tip of the iceberg is he going to do similar things in the future and i think op is going to be the only person who has the best 
bird's eye view of that from what what they've seen shown us here i wouldn't recommend getting back together with this individual but there might miss maybe this is just a very rare thing and that it was just the coalition of of many little pieces that drove him to do this but regardless of that i think that if you were to get back together with him that potentially him going into some kind of therapy and talking about you know his impulses and whatnot would be probably a good thing to do right right well i mean i think Ovi would have to have some very very clear boundaries mm -hmm. and requirements like cut off the friends completely if he feels like they are inf influencing him although he should be adult enough to be able to tell his friends no this is not okay i'm mm -hmm. not going to violate my partner's boundaries yeah so i think that this again is kind of in op's hands but they have a lot of evidence to say why not to right but let me know what you folks think so anyhow take care and good luck and Gilgif says so wait he stole your panties so that he could torment you with them later and likely in front of his friends then he somehow forgot that he had your panties when his friends convinced him to pull your pants sweetie he knew exactly what he was doing and it was to embarrass you in front of his friends he knew you had no panties and he planned it for it to be filmed this way because it would make the reaction even better all right folks it is tea time grab your beverages of choice i've got some tea right here and amber she has a joke what did one keyboard say to the other well i think the one keyboard said to the other that i have the key to your heart oh i like it you're just my type oh you're just my type oh that kind of keyboard yeah okay i get it i get it i thought like piano keyboard mm. and i have earl gray all right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Terrific Tuesday, spelled T-W-O. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And have it involve trust. Once trust is broken, it is incumbent upon the person who wronged the other to rebuild that trust. You can't just demand that they trust you immediately. I think that's good advice. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.